whether fish fossils or Baccarat crystal, any collection will display beautifully in this cabinet. It allows unobstructed viewing from the front, glass shelves that allow light to filter from top to bottom, and a mirrored back that presents your collection from an entirely new perspective. Built with spline joinery that's both simple and strong, this cabinet features a beveled glass front panel, frameless glass doors on both sides, and 12-inch deep shelves. Start by cutting the styles for the front and side frames that form the cabinet. Rip these pieces oversize in width. The extra width allows you to straighten pieces that develop a crook. Route grooves for splines in the styles and rails. Most of the styles have more than one groove. All the grooves are routed from the same setting. Route rabbits for glass in all three completed frames. The rabbits go on the front faces of the side frames, but on the back face of the front frame. Glue the frames together after installing the splines. Work on a flat surface and make sure the ends of the frames are flush. Shop-made 90-degree clamping jigs keep the corners square. Cut and fit the miters on the base pieces before you lay out the arches. First, miter the side pieces and clamp them in place. Then miter the front piece to fit between the side miters. Route the crown molding with dedicated crown molding bits. First, route the top half with one bit. Then, install the second bit and flip the workpiece to finish the job. A tall fence and featherboard securely hold the workpiece while using these tall bits. The two bits used to create this molding are part of Freud's Wide Crown Molding System, a collection of bits designed to create super-wide ceiling moldings. Here you can see how the molding was created and how its width was reduced for use on this cabinet. Glue on the crown molding after dry fitting the miters. Brad nails in the corners pin each piece in position before you apply the clamps. Fasten the top of each mitered corner with a single brad. Reinforce the crown molding with glue blocks. Cut the wedged blocks on your table saw. The wide angled corner blocks are hard to cut precisely. It's easier to sand or hand plane these blocks to fit. Lower the front glass panel through the back of the cabinet. This large piece of tempered glass is heavy and awkward to maneuver, so get help. Install the mirrors after attaching the middle rail and spacer. Then, install the back to protect the mirrors. The cabinet sides have two stepped rabbits, one for the mirrors and one for the back. 